The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <sighs> another sellout crowd there, Jeremy. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you keep my name out of your mouth, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> no, the last I, thing I need is the bad press of being associated with you. That's true. Keep Jeremy's name <laughs> yes. out, out your, your fucking mouth. mouth. Slap it for me, Derek. <laughs> 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 okay. I'll get him when he's not expecting it. <laughs> yeah. Good, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank Just you. Like Chris Rock. And also another excellent stand up comedian. He is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. Derek Alders. You're a real son of a bitch, Scotty. I know. You fucking farted in my basement, <laughs> and for the last two days, it has smelled like straight latex down there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Come on, yeah. Scotty. That's terrible, yes. man. I didn't mean to. Yes. You don't use the animal skins? No. Jesus. <laughs> no, Come, on, Come on, man. Come on, man. Sheepskin it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Use the seat covers if you have to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeremy. I'm out of those. So you disappoint yeah, me, Scott. It's bad for the environment. Yeah, whatever. All right, guys. Well, welcome back into another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the very first time listening to a show, warning: this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports, and also it's an adult. Co- it's an adult podcast where we like to make. Uh, uh, fucking fu- noises. Fucking noises and the uh, use foul language. So mm-hmm. if that's not your thing in the wrong place, get out of here. Thanks. Fuck you. Bye. Okay. You know what? Yeah. That introduction, I'm going to be honest with you. Most of the yeah. time, people don't know why they're so displeased with you. Oh, yeah. Now they have a reason. Yeah, they, they, they know right off the bat. Yep. This is why I hate this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you plenty more reasons. Are you making those fuck noises over there? Yeah, doing good. Yeah, yeah, doing really good. You're even on, like, time and everything, too. Yeah. You got a metronome I, in those headphones, buddy? My stroke game strong. Yeah, here you go. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that that's actually more entertaining than whatever's coming out of your fucking mouth, Scotty. <laughs> Just the sound of Derek's fake fuck sound. <laughs> In fact, you should make that into a podcast. <laughs> Just all that. That's uh-huh. it. Yeah. No, the that unfiltered perspective. Be the sound guy for pornos. Yeah. yeah. You should have your own OnlyFans for that. <clears throat> you know? Yeah. Okay. Um, Come on, dude. We don't get like that on this show. <laughs> we don't? No, class it up. Only hands? I'm not going to put up with this bullshit this week, Scotty. <laughs> Why not? You clean it up. This ain't the fucking circus. Uh, yeah, All right? kind of is. Knock off the bullshit. <laughs> okay, fine. Fine. All right, but we got an excellent show for you guys today. We've got, uh, you know, the normal stuff. We've got the sports to go over, real shit, horse shit. Uh, let's see. we got bad advice, overrated, underrated questions, preguntas, and a draft, and with a shitty situation to cap it off. But before we get on to those great and excellent segments, we're going to talk about what happened to us over the last week. Uh, we like to call it our week, week recap. So, uh, Derek. Yeah. What'd you do, dude? Uh, I had to be at the stadium for some run-throughs. Yep. Uh, a lot. So I did that. Believe it or not, I still have a voice. Good. Well, yeah, because you were running. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, th- that's, I, that's believe it weird. or not, I still have a heartbeat. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was weird because they had my back up in there yesterday, and it was just kind of weird seeing somebody else sit in my chair on my microphone. You got an understudy? Yeah. 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 Wow. yeah I won't be there Saturday. Okay. So I turned 40 on Saturday, so right. I'm not, I'm not going to be there. So uh, I'm going to be getting drunk, and then Sunday I'm going to be nursing that one. So I'm going to miss Saturday, Sunday this week. But I'll be there opening day and uh, about 60 other games this year. Yep. So the second game into the season, you're taking a day off. Yep. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Well, considering I didn't take a single one of them off the entire last season. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're like the fucking Iron Horse, right? I know. I know. Yeah. I'm a regular fucking Kyle Ripken. Right. Damn. Uh, <laughs> so... Bill, you're Billy Ripken. Yeah. Kyle. No. The shortstop for the Orioles. Kyle Ripken. Junior, right? Yeah, Kyle Ripken. No, Jr. his, his brother Billy. Oh. No, Billy was the one that had fuckface written on the bottom of the bat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm Kyle. All right, fair enough. Um, so, anyway. 
Before I was so rudely fucking interrupted. Sorry. Uh, I, I uh, had some uh, friends over on Saturday and played poker. And I guess uh, Dan the man. So here's the deal. I wasn't planning on having either one of you guys come play. I figured, A, Jeremy has to work at fucking 4 o'clock in the morning. On He probably was not going to be up for it. And B. I wouldn't have come, but no, I didn't have to. <laughs> yeah. And B, uh, I didn't want to invite Scotty because drunk Scotty's about as fun as hitting my dick in the fucking, <laughs> or hitting my dick with a hammer. Yeah. So uh, I was like, nah, I'm not going to do that. And then I ended up out Friday after I get done with re- rehearsals or whatever. And Scotty's like, well, if you're doing anything. And I called my wife. She's like, I'm at the bar. I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll meet you at the bar. So I met her up there, and you and your wife showed up, and it was so good to see your wife. Yeah. And uh, so then I mentioned to you that we were playing, and you came over and played, and mm-hmm. uh, lost a lot, got really drunk. I didn't get too bad. Yeah, you did. Mm, okay. And uh, I didn't lost, lose all my money though. You lost all your money. Yep, I did. So, uh, but we played poker till probably about one in the morning, which was fun. And then yesterday, or well, <laughs> Sunday. What I do Sunday? Oh yeah, more stadium shit. Yeah. Yep. Did that. And then, uh, do you have to put out the baselines? No, 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 no just uh, paint the field. That's <clears> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. So they, they don't know I did that. So they're going to be pissed sure. when they walk in tomorrow morning. They spent a lot of money getting that thing green. You just made it purple. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right. With stick figures. Right. Sure. Watched a little bit of uh, a WrestleMania this weekend. Yeah, good for you. Yeah. Uh, just because I heard Stone Cold was coming back. So mm. I wanted to see that. I uh, actually have some friends who were there. Really? That's yep. awesome. Uh, Matt Magnuson's brother. Okay. Okay. Yoga Matt? Go just sit on the fucking floor. <laughs> what? Seriously, get off the fucking camera. To pe- leave your microphone. You go sit on the fucking floor, and you think about what you did. <laughs> okay. Tired of it. Rub his nose in it, Jamie. <laughs> God damn it. Um, but yeah, One more, so. and you're going outside. <laughs> okay. So I watched... Uh, I pretty much YouTube that is what I did. Oh, really? To see what happened, and that was pretty much it. And by going through TikTok and YouTube, I've realized that I think about the only wrestling fans there are all have Down syndrome. <laughs> oh. Because if you scroll through TikTok, that's all that you see that are excited to go to WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. They're like, we got you tickets to WrestleMania, and then I'm not going to do the impression because it's not politically correct. <laughs> but uh, they're very happy. Let's just say that. I don't know why they call it Down syndrome. If you tell them they're going to WrestleMania, they're pretty happy to me. But uh, Yeah, Rex Hedler calls it Up syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> he, He's got a son with with it. So, nice. Okay. So he can say that. Right. So yeah. <laughs> no, no, and I've been calling him out in letters a lot. I sent a <laughs> lot of emails to him. Listen here, fuckwad. I don't give a shit if that is your son. You call it by the proper name, you cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, today I got a package in the mail from my stepmom for my 40th birthday, which is coming up Saturday. Mm-hmm. Uh, which was, I was not expecting that. And she told me to go ahead and open it. So I did. And she got me like a bunch of whiskey stuff. Cool. Okay. It was like a mixing glass and a, a jigger, which I already know how to, I don't need that. I know how to pour. Jigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You don't use a hard R. I forget about that. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Jay-Z. Uh, but, uh, and then it was, she got one of the things that came with it. It was actually a smoked cocktail kit. Oh, yeah, those are cool. So I've got, it's got like four different types of wood. What is this? Yeah, and it's got a butane torch. Okay. And then you use the wood and you smoke the inside of the glass and let the smoke sit in there. And then you take that out and you pour your your drink or your whiskey in there. Okay. Which, thinking about it, it's really cool and I'm pretty excited about it. But I think the last thing you need to put in my hands after four fucking glasses of whiskey is a fucking torch. (laughs) (laughs) So, is it like one of those little creme brulee? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but still enough to burn me with. What does this do for it? It, it, brings a different like aroma. i was talking to derek all right you've never had a smoked uh, I, I never have it's oh my god it's so good it completely changes it so like i like for instance i love the smell of cedar i love the smell of pecan the smell mm-hmm. of cherry when you do that and that smoke sits in that glass that's what you kind of taste and in and uh smell as you're drinking it okay so it ta- it changes the flavor of the whiskey i got some uh pine sawdust Ooh. <laughs> or maybe some fur whatever ground up two by four is Not, uh, yeah pine yeah probably some pine plywood with some oh, glue man. on there God, you can talk got, again now scotty that's got some Thanks. that's got a really good treated taste sure it does. <laughs> yeah. yeah you want pressure treated wood on that <laughs> yeah, yeah absolutely 
Last time I was at a buddy of mine's house who was <clears throat> burning a fire pit, and his dad had just gotten done tearing down his fence. Yeah, he was burning the fucking. I did that. The boards for that pressure treated wood. Boy, that makes some nice smoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. That. <laughs> That's real nice. <laughs> That's what I want to be like. You remember the coming to America where he's like, "What is that velvet?" Yeah, I want to do that now. Whenever we go to anybody's house, it's like, "Oh, dude, I've been smoking ribs all day." Ooh, what is that treated? <laughs> so so treated and pressure treated. Kind of a near was on it. <laughs> Ooh, OSB. It, Ask him if it's OSB. Oh that's, God, was that a gate? Yeah. I can taste the gate. Yeah. That's gates. No <laughs> yeah, gate. Gate, gate hardware gates. on there. Just gate. <laughs> well, that is what Gates uses. They use, <laughs> use gate. They use gate wood. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Even if it's wrought iron. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, anyways, it, it makes it smoky. Yes. And what does that? Does it make it smoother then, or? just changes it just gives you a smoky flavor okay. to it it's like smoking meat but you're smoking drinks so you put meat in this yeah <laughs> well, okay yeah, absolutely yeah. gotcha yeah. gotcha <laughs> yeah you got to make it with raw pork sure mm-hmm. still uh, lincoln yep uh, now, now let me ask you this because i don't know this and you come from bartending this uh, is actually a serious question okay because you mentioned the j word earlier uh wh- what's the difference between a jigger and a shot glass uh a jigger actually has measured out Oh, okay. So it'll have an ounce. In the, you know, most jiggers, th- this one I got was glass, uh, and it looks like a shot glass, but most of them are metal, and they're two-sided. Oh, one is that side, the hourglass-looking yeah. thing? Okay. One All side right. will have an ounce. Usually, typically, one side will have an ounce and an ounce and a quarter, and you'll have another one that will have an ounce and a quarter and two ounces. I never knew that's what that was called. Yeah. So I'd always heard it just like as interchanged with shot glasses. That's what I'd yep. always heard. No, nope. so it's an ounce and a quarter is a single pour, two ounces is a double pour. Gotcha. So there you go. Uh, all right. So my week was pretty. I mean, it was a lot of fun. I did have a lot of fun going over and losing all my money. Believe it or not, I like. I like. Uh, I really do appreciate you doing that. Um, <clears throat> I think you actually had fun with Stan. I did. I'm I surprised. Told you. He's I'm a good dude. I'm surprised. Man. I really was. I. I, I may have drank a little too much, but I remember everything. I got beat bad. I got beat on a really bad beat by Dan the Man. Um, he he hit he flopped a full house, and then I I hit a flush on the turn, and I thought I had him right where I wanted him, and because because I was betting up front, you yeah. Know? So I was betting first, and uh, that ended up taking me out. So that was a rough beat, but I did have a really good time. Then I took all your money in the cash game. You did take yeah. all my money in the cash game, you fucker. Um, <laughs> entire life savings. Yeah, yeah, entire life savings. Um, I did. The- I titled your house. Yeah. <laughs> you really fucking took yeah. him for a walk. Yeah. By the way, when are you going to pay me up with your wife? Um, what are we going to settle up on that? That's going to be a, that's going to be a minute. <laughs> um, um, she owes me mortgage next week. So <laughs> somebody um, has to, you lost all your fucking money. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, yep. Now I'm horn from Dan the man. It sounds like right now I'm whoring my sister out. And now I got to whore my wife out. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Your sister whores herself out. Right. So. <laughs> but I'm their pimp. Um, I did figure out how to report actual accounts on TikTok that are stealing our sounds. Um, so that's that's a good thing, I think. Going caring on them. I'm, I'm going to get pissed before too long because they, they continue to, to rip them and steal them and stuff like that. I And don't get me wrong about this. I, I really, really do mean this. You guys that are tagging us or, or commenting and, and letting us know that those channels or whatever are using our sound illegally, we appreciate that. Obviously, that's when the logos match. That's when their channel logo is the same logo as the one that's spinning that's showing that it's their sound. Those are the ones that are stealing that shit now. And chances are the <laughs> ones who are stealing it most likely are stealing it from someone who stole it from someone who stole it from us. Mm-hmm. When it's the same logo that's spinning in the channel logo, no, those guys are stealing it from either us directly or just claiming it to be their own. Sound. Right, but I mean, like when people just superimpose the sound over. Yeah, shit. if you if our logo is rolling in the corner then that sound is being used correctly. We are getting credit for being the original creators of that sound. That's the I'd whole like point. to talk for another half hour no. on this if we could. But seriously, this is the most interesting thing you've ever said. I'm sorry, but if if you if you are commenting to let us know, hey, these people are are using their sound, I sincerely do appreciate <clears> it. <throat> the only problem is if 30 of you do that, you are actually helping that video gain traction and get more people to view it, and that's how it grows. So we so, need all of you to get on the same page. <laughs> so start your own group. If you see if you see a sound like that, it, briefly look at the comments. If you see twenty people telling us, we, we appreciate you trying to let us know, but don't give that person that's stealing that uh, any kind of credit. Um, but the other thing uh, I wanted to remind people, uh, I think this is the most, the coolest thing. I, I'm, I don't love my service from these people or anything like that. However, 
I have T-Mobile for a mobile provider, mm -hmm. and T-Mobile Tuesdays is when you get free shit on Tuesdays, and it's good for like a week. So they're replacing tacos. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. T-Mobile Tuesdays, man. Nice. Uh, but okay. right right now, if you go and take advantage yeah, of that. A phone will give you diarrhea. Right. Really? Yeah. You just wow. Gotta, you just got to <laughs> shove it up there and have somebody call you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but no, uh, if you have T-Mobile, you can go in and take advantage of it, and you can get the Major League Baseball app, the premium, to where you can watch any game. You get it for free for okay. this for this week. So take advantage of that. And I think uh, you can probably already <clears throat> do that with TV. May, well, if if you got a team like Derek and myself, our, our teams, we don't get to watch them on regular cable well, unless it's on ESPN or I'll something like that. I'll be watching the Royals this year. That's I'm true. I'm not watching the Cubs. That's true. Um, but yeah. Derek and myself are gearing up for minor league baseball, so. Um, there's going to be missing a lot more time just because Why can't I'd be in on this. What do you mean? Gear enough for minor league baseball. No, he means missing time. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Why, why can't I be on this missing time? Yes. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> Hang on a fucking minute. Yeah. I want to see what Derek does. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll pay $9 a beer to see what Derek does. <laughs> you should. It's pretty cool. As long as it gets me the fuck out of here. Yeah. Uh, so we will have some uh, guests on whenever Derek has a homestand, uh, because whenever he does have a homestand, that is six straight days of working yeah. late into the night, and uh, it's baseball, so it's fun. But oh, you don't have one-night homestands? No. 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 Huh. no. no one-night stands. No. Uh, Wake but, up in your bed going, Jesus Christ, did I call a fucking baseball game last night? <laughs> what the hell? God damn, did I call the Indians? Yeah. Sorry, Guardians. Yeah. Uh, That's bullshit. The uh, <clears throat> one thing that you will get a, a laugh out of, I was uh, I was at the stadium doing run-throughs the other day, and the, he gives me a dummy lineup to read because we know what the mm -hmm. lineup was. And it's got one name crossed off, like the center fielder, and it says fucking his name. Nice. Yeah, so I crossed that off real quick. No. Right? Uh, oh no. yeah, they would substitute you in a yeah, heartbeat. Yeah, you wouldn't. You would. You'd be a scratch. Oh no uh, way. And then I had to like mock read the first pitches, and we didn't know who's throwing the first pitch. So I said, oh, right. uh, throwing out tonight's ceremonial first pitch, the 1984 Kingman County <laughs> T-ball <laughs> Defensive Player of the Year, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. I have actually proposed that to Bob a few times. <laughs> <laughs> I would I, fucking I, love that. I want to pitch it T-ball style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh don't put God. it on a post at home plate. No, you just you, you're good enough. You could probably like kind of throw it up there and get it to sit perfectly of on that. Of course, I'm good enough, I know. Scotty. Of course, I'm good enough. God, if they could fucking figure out how to have you come out and do that mm -hmm. and not tell anybody, <laughs> yeah. you're just the 1984. <laughs> <laughs> oh, believe me, I've had that blank stare before. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, my God. Why I was, is this happening? Hey, you have more pull with Bob than I do. I'm going to see. If he, can, I... if he can get him to do that, would you do that? Yes. Oh, oh my God. A thousand percent. I would want a custom jersey, you need, though. <laughs> you need <laughs> a Kingman County jersey. <laughs> the number one, and it says, for my name, it just says T-Balls with, with a Z. <laughs> I think you need a Kingman County jersey that comes up to like right here, <laughs> yeah. like mid jersey. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. T shirt underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> like you tried to get in your old T ball jersey. I actually would love to go those old like late nineties, early two thousands sleeveless jerseys with the fucking shit, the, <laughs> yeah. the spandex underneath. Yeah. Only I wouldn't wear the spandex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to make this oh. happen, and if we can make this happen, I'm getting video footage and putting that shit on TikTok. That I will wear the spandex <laughs> if that happens. <laughs> that would be the greatest fucking thing. That would be. I excellent. would be so excited to read that. Oh, I got four first bitches today. I don't care. Let's go. Let's go. R really get into it too, yeah, Michael Buffer yeah. style. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right, that was my week. Uh, Jeremy, how was yours? That was all right. Yeah. Um, on uh, Saturday, I went out to the casino, me and the old lady. Yeah. We, we have gotten into the habit of uh, she hates people about as much as I do anymore. Really? So we like to go out there early. So we went out like 9 in the morning, and I took like 300 bucks with me, and I sat down, and within 30 minutes at fucking uh, slot machines, I yeah. was down 200. No shit. And I sat, so I sat down at the blackjack table. Mm -hmm. $10 blackjack table that had the extra bonus bet yep. that you can play a three card poker hand on there. You use your two up cards and the, the dealer's yeah. showing card. You have the plus three, is what it's called. Yeah. And then there's a second one that you can bet for the top three, where if it's a three of a kind, a straight flush, or a suited three of a kind. I mean, then it pays nine to one for... You lost me. Just, yeah. 
Okay. Plate pays nine to one for the plus three. The top three pays anywhere from 45, 90, and 180 to one. I think. If you get a three of a kind, mm-hmm. a straight, a flush, or a straight flush, it pays nine to one. But if you make the second bet, if you get any of those top three, like the first one pays 90 something to one, it, yeah. the, all of our listeners just turned us off. Anyways, <laughs> good. I, I hit about eight of those. <laughs> really? Uh, of the, the tops? Not the tops, no. Um, but I was betting the tops, and of course, two hands after I stopped betting the tops, I get the top. three suited kings. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. Yes. And that would have paid out on a $5 bet, I think, 250 to one. Wow. Yeah. And so, I've yeah, paid it's, that out. it's, uh, I was pissed, <laughs> but I still walked away almost a thousand bucks out. Hell yeah, Hell dude. Yeah. And, there you uh, go. And when I went to get my Players Club card, because I, <clears throat> I always leave it in a fucking slot machine somewhere, mm-hmm. so I went to go get a new one and uh, saw that the Gin Blossoms were going to be there that night. Now, I don't give a fuck about the Gin Blossoms, but my wife is a big fan. Did you the manage them at one point? No, fuck no. Oh, okay. Come on, Scotty. Okay, I'm just asking. Curious. They're way too small potatoes for me. Oh. Um, but my wife is a, is a big fan, uh, which makes it strange that she didn't know that they were going to be there that <laughs> night. So she's apparently not that big of a fan, but... Uh, she asked me while I was up there to ask how much tickets are. What do you guys think gin blossoms in this day and age, 20 years after they were famous, what do you think say, tickets go for? I don't even 35, know. 35, 40 bucks. I don't even know who the gin blossoms are, so I'm 25. Oh, bucks. yes, you do. Till I hear it from you. Hey, Jealousy. They were the quintessential oh, indie hey, rock Oh, okay, band. okay. Hell, hey, Jealousy, I know. Okay. Yeah. $187 <laughs> per ticket. <laughs> Get fucked. One hundred and eighty-seven dollars per ticket for a band that has not had a hit single in twenty-four years. At the casino, at the casino, Metallica tickets and good tickets, mind you, at the fucking Interest Bank Arena, which is the major arena in Wichita, were two hundred bucks a piece. I think yeah, what but they're they, no gin blossoms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. They are. They <laughs> that that is one very true statement. They are not the gin blossoms. <laughs> Jeremy, you used to manage what was it? Potato vodka tumbleweeds. I did. Yeah, mm-hmm. I did they for for a hot minute. Yeah, <laughs> and, and then there was a lot of controversy. Something about uh, somebody's car got towed, and <laughs> so, actually, it was it was the drummer was stealing Denver boots. <laughs> <laughs> the bassist was stealing catalytic converters. God damn it, Scotty. What? Why you got to ruin everything? (laughs) Fuck you. I don't know. Understand this. You will never say the right thing. No no matter how good it is, you will never say the right thing. Try it now. Any better? Okay. I tried. I really did. I have lost my fucking momentum. (laughs) So despite being up almost $1,000 from Blackjack, guess what we didn't do? (laughs) Go see the gym. No, we did not. Um... Instead, I went home and I binge watched, based on Derek's advice, uh, that uh, that new series about the Lakers, Winning Time. Yeah, okay. I have not watched the last one yet. Okay. Um, Did you like it? It's not good. What? <laughs> it's fucking outstanding. Okay. It's, it is. It's. <laughs> I'm going to say it's too good. It, wow. To the point where I'm scared. Like, this can't keep up being this fucking good. It How is, good is John C. Riley? Oh that? my God! Everybody, the entire cast the, is wonderful. The guy the, plays Magic, kind of looks like fucking he, young. Yeah, Magic. he does. Yeah, and so does the guy who plays Lou Alcindor. Yeah, which whatever the fuck he goes by now, I've always known him as Lou Kareem uh, Alcindor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Kareem Alcindor. Yeah, <laughs> um, but no, uh, it is just. Like, I, I know the basic story of mm-hmm. what happened, but the inside shit, that shit with uh, Tarkanian. Oh, God, I didn't know yeah. about any of that shit. I didn't either. That's fucking insane. Um, I still don't. You, well, watch the fucking show, Scotty. I don't yeah. want to ruin it for people. Thanks. Um, but here's what I love that they do. This is, I mean, okay, the, the writing is great. The acting is great. The cinematography, it looks like 1979. Nice. Um, but they do this thing where rather than have a useless conversation with somebody who should know this information, they break the fourth wall all the time. And they just explain to you, okay, here's why I'm doing this. Three years ago, hmm. I had dealings with this guy. I mean, they just kind of like when Zach on Say by the Bell would stop time to explain shit to them. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. do that only almost better than Zach. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put at least as good as Zach, <laughs> okay. if not better. <laughs> Thank God. But no, it is... 
I am pissed off that I started watching it without all the episodes coming out because I cannot wait for the next one. It's and it's not letting down so far. Now it's you understand great. my point about binging shit. I don't understand a fucking thing about you, Scotty. <laughs> okay, now I'm happy I didn't binge it. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, good. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> other than that, I. I that's filling up all my time, just okay. my joy over this fucking series. <laughs> and, and that's the other thing about it being too good. It may ruin every other fucking show for me. <laughs> good stuff. Yes. Awesome. I I recommend it. Good. I don't know if you can get that from from what I was saying, but yeah, it's it's not everybody out there, don't watch it. Let Jeremy bask in his glory. Yeah, in fact, you fuckers stay away. Quit taking up <laughs> bandwidth. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, before we get on to the uh, meat and potatoes of this episode, we've got to uh, talk about our sponsor. Um, they hams have, are us. No. When you need a ham. No. And a pinch. No. Hams are us. Put it in Derek's whiskey. That's, yeah. that's right. <laughs> Visit it at hamsareus.com, yeah. I believe. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Shaved hams. Yeah. Yeah. Shaved oh, hams. Okay. Shaved hams. You don't want a hairy ham. No, no. no. no you don't. Cured you don't hams. want hairy hamlin. You don't want any of that. <laughs> no, our actual sponsor. Deviled hams. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucking devil's work, uh, right? right? Yeah, it is. Now, our actual uh, sponsor for every episode is Manscaped.com. These guys make some excellent products to keep your nuts and your asshole clean. And the asshole is the very important part of this because Derek still hasn't tried it yet. You know what you get when you have an unshaven asshole? <laughs> <laughs> right there. <laughs> So you don't you, want one yeah, of You want the last thing your woman sees on your naked body to be basically Scotty in your <laughs> fucking underpants? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but well, that, you, sure you'll never get laid again. Shave your fucking balls, for God's sake. I worry yeah. about you people. That's, whenever you fart, it looks like a 1970s air conditioner with ribbons tied on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't need that. You don't want that. Yeah. Uh, no. Like a fucking Leviathan just coming right out of your asshole. Release the Kraken. <laughs> Looks like your asshole. The ass Kraken. Looks yeah. like your asshole celebrating New Year's Eve yes. at midnight when you fart. <laughs> now, if you could put a party blower on there, that would be all right. <laughs> or a whoopee whistle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they do have the lawnmower 4.0 uh which is an excellent product to keep all of that uh all, both of those regions uh clean for you uh take care of your nuts and uh, don't get cut up like if you use a beard trimmer if you don't believe me you should give it a shot is that that's the south central region right yeah okay yeah um yeah use a beard trimmer if you don't believe sure. me uh you'll really enjoy that but no uh, the or pet trimmers. Use pet trimmers. Yeah, pet trimmers, yeah. Yeah, let's say that as a fucking threat. Go ahead, use a fucking beard trimmer. <laughs> Go ahead, see what the fuck happens. Right. I dare you. <laughs> if you want to trim your balls off, <laughs> go ahead. That's what's going to happen. Right. Use an inferior product, you dumbasses. Yep, but the 4.0 has an adjustable LED light. It has a docking station on it now to mm -hmm. where uh, that's really nice and handy. Um, but it also they also have other products as well. They have my favorite, the Weed Whacker, to get rid of all your ear hair and nose hair, uh, <clears> which <throat> is something that's very near and dear to my heart, Jeremy. Sure it is. Yeah. Actually, it's more closer to your ears and nose. <laughs> yeah, it <is>. <laughs> <laughs> it's nowhere near your fucking heart, Scotty. I, <laughs> you don't know. You were an EMT. How do you not know about anatomy? Did well, they not teach you the song Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but they don't have nose in there. Backbone ears. connected to the shoulder bone, connected <laughs> yeah. to the neck bone. Sure, the fuck ain't connected to the heart bone, Scotty. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you learn the hokey pokey? <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, but anyways. Well, you can um, turn yourself around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. The part where they sent, said, put your heart in. <laughs> and put your heart on <laughs> shake it all about right now yeah. uh but they have other products as well that are out there that are excellent um in just male grooming needs they they uh have a uh what is uh, they have every dollar or something like that that they get is donated to help men's health uh, every, every purchase they make a percentage of it, i think it's 10 percent of it <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I don't quote me on that that's yeah. that may I may be talking out of my ass, but a certain percentage of every purchase goes to uh, research men's health issues. Yeah. hundred and ten percent, actually. So for every <laughs> one you buy, they're going to donate that plus ten percent. That wow. really sounds like a lousy business plan. I don't know how they turn a profit. Volume. Well, that's yeah. how. Volume. Yeah. Volume. Yeah. 
Uh, but they have uh, cologne, which is refined. Um, they have uh, manicure kits. They have a lot of stuff to help keep you groomed, especially now that uh, it's summertime coming up before too long. So that means you're going to be out in public in lesser clothes. And so I won't yeah. be, but yeah. But, you know, younger people will. I don't go outside. So keep uh, keep yourself groomed, you know. Shave your, uh, shave your ass and your dick. Uh, or like as Derek likes to say... Stank to crank. Gotta love it. Yep. Uh, but uh, Shitter Mans- to critter. Yep. Manscaped likes to say from bush to tush. Yeah. So thank you, manscaped.com. Uh, whenever you go to manscaped.com, use the promo code SIDELINES, get 20% off of your order, and uh, free shipping, which helps uh, helps you out, helps us out, and lets them know we're reading all of these questions word for word. And they love us. Oh, God damn. Okay, now let's get on to the sports. Um from and stink. we're done from yeah. <laughs> from stink pocket to flesh rock. <laughs> right. Uh, it, basically, that's uh, that is the sports for this week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you had uh, you did have WrestleMania. Yeah. Sure. You, so did. you got to watch that. I even actually fucking got on the website. You know, I got my NWO shirt. Uh oh. I saw him come out, and I was like, I wanted one of those in high school. I bought an Austin 316 shirt. That a boy. So, I don't. I'm not even mad at that. Uh, I, I'm feel. I'm gonna feel like. I, well, I guess no, I can. Not. I can pose as a Down syndrome kid when I wear it. For and, sure. Now remind I, me, Derek. Totally. What does that say? Austin 316. But what does Austin 316 say? Mm, I just whip your ass. I just whip your ass. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm more of a Stone Cold ET guy, but uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need a couple white castles with a little bit he, of onion. He would not shut up. That's the best part. <laughs> I need a couple of burgers with no onions on them and a large diet coke, and that's the bottom line because Stone Cold E.T. says so. But you get a little white castle with a little bit of cheese and a little bit of onion, and that's what how Stone Cold likes to do when he's eating a little bit of white castle when he's whooping some ass. Oh, what? Well, yeah. Because that's what Stone Cold likes. <laughs> what? What? What'd you say, Stone Cold E.T.? What? What'd you say, Stone Cold E.T.? What? <laughs> oh, what the fuck ever. Yeah, he's doing his own call and response <laughs> in the car. <laughs> and then he does the whole... Uh, and yet he's getting a free fucking plug on and, our show. Any, it's fucking any, hilarious. Oh, well, for fuck's sake, it's a 15-year-old bit. But <laughs> if anybody wants to see what we're talking about, go to YouTube, look up Stone Cold E.T. <laughs> and it's the most ridiculous pairing of two fucking pop culture things you've ever heard of. And it's beautiful. It is absolutely fucking beautiful. <laughs> there's actually, I think there's a video of him that he went into like some high school, like those really, really shitty wrestling promotions that just do like gyms. Mm-hmm. And he fucking wrestled at one of those is Stone Cold E.T. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Great. Um, but yeah, so Stone Cold won his match, right? Yeah, yeah, he did. And then I saw Who that. Who saw that coming? Yeah, <laughs> no right? kidding. Who um, did he wrestle? Uh, Kevin, Kevin Owens. Owens. And then he He's did. big dude. And then he stone cold stunned Pat McAfee as they were both chugging a beer. And the next night he stone cold Vince McMahon. It was the worst <laughs> thing in the whole fucking world. <laughs> God, Vince that, McMahon's got to be eighty by now. He's seventy seven, I think, is what it said or seventy nine. That was the worst thing. I think the stone cold stunner on McAfee was. You bad. should have seen the one on McMahon. I think he just can't do it anymore. The worst one so ever he is when he did him. McMahon's wife. He well, this is worse. Really? He like <laughs> he like bad. missed him and Vince fell. And so he's like trying to pick Vince back up, and that Vince can't get his footing, and then he just does this half-ass looking fucking. He didn't do it right. Vince's head was straight up, and it was fucking weird. It was fucking hilarious. He's laughing at the end of it. And yeah. by the way, after watching that, uh, kudos to the guy that throws Stone Cold the beers. I mean, he hits him in the mm-hmm. hands every. I've fucking never seen time. him drop one. It's no, that's Tom Brady. Brady. It's Tom Brady. He dropped him, but the ones he dropped, he Tyreek Hill. I mean, he hit him right in the hands. Okay, and he dropped it. <laughs> sure, Tyreek Hill. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Um, yeah, he already said that. It's got a Tyreek yeah. Hill. I know, but I didn't know. Is is WrestleMania? Yeah, here comes a comedy train. <laughs> Somebody tugged on the fucking rope. Mm-hmm. Asshole. Anyway. Yeah, that's um, what your job I, got. I know. Shut up. I didn't know that it, WrestleMania, has that always been two day, or two nights? I guess it has been for, I don't know how a long A couple now. years now? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it used you to can't be. contain all that action in one night. Yeah. Oh, fu- I remember when matches were like hours long. Well, wasn't it always the night before was like the Hall of Fame induction? That's what it used to be, I, I thought. thought so. But I just remember, I think it was an Iron Man match between... Can't wait until Brooklyn Brawler gets in there. Yeah. <laughs> now it's a whole weekend. <laughs> I guess. 
Uh, but I remember, like, I think it was WrestleMania. I'm almost positive it was, but Brett, uh, Bret Hart and uh, Shawn Michaels and Iron Man match. Yeah, it was like mm-hmm. an hour long. It was an hour and, and back a half when it was long. Cool. Yeah, exactly. That was the good days. Um, and wasn't there yeah. still only one fall? Wasn't it at the end of an hour? Whoever had the most, most falls? falls. Yeah, yeah, it was still just the one fall. Yeah, and it was just yeah. one. Yeah. Yep. Which really makes that kind of stupid. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you just have an hour long match? Mm-hmm, exactly. That ended with one fall. Right. Okay, but anyways, I think uh, Stone Cold and Bret Hart had one of those too. Maybe or something. I can't. I remember. can't remember. That was the I, maybe that was an I quit match. Is yeah, what that was. I can't remember. Who fucking cares? We're gonna move on to some baseball because this is gonna make <coughs> uh, make make Derek uh, make Derek happy. Um, Albert Pujols uh, announces that he will be filing for divorce just days after his wife had a successful brain tumor surgery. Uh, he was banking on that death. Fuck. Wait, hoping that insurance money'd kick in. He's like, well, before she gets half my shit, <laughs> let's just see how this operation goes. <laughs> and if she comes out of it, god damn it, I guess I'll file. Yeah. Okay, do we know the reasons behind this? I do not. I, I want to find out before <clears throat> I shit on him too much because I can't imagine this being the case in the Pujols household, but I know that this happens sometimes in order to get the right health coverage. I'm that sure couples have to file for divorce in order to get like state funded, like rehab and stuff like that. It's it, it it's a tricky, weird fucking process for some people. I can't imagine that. I think Pujols probably got enough money. Well, judging by the size of Albert Pujols's head, I'm going to guess that he thought it was contagious. Right? <laughs> Do you think that they took the tumor out of her head and put it into his? It's possible. Yeah, that way it could live with all the other 58 mm-hmm. tumors. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> but yeah, um, next thing. So she uh, got rid of tumor and a cancer. Good yeah, for her. No, oh yeah. shit. I, I know it's weird. I know it's fucking weird. I, I I went live a couple nights ago and and there was just question after question. What do you think about pool holes coming back? It's like I'm I'm not excited for it. The only cool thing about it is that yeah, Wainwright, Molina, and pool holes are all going to retire in the same fucking year. That's I, I get it. It 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 sounds cool, but I'm not a pool holes fan and I'm not happy that he's back. Um, yeah, I think he's kind of a prick. Uh, like Who I said, else going to retire in the same year? Pujols, Molina, and Wainwright. Okay. So, yeah. Adam Wainwright? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, but with baseball coming around the corner, like we've already said, uh, that is April 8th is going to be opening day for minor league baseball. Yeah. But major league baseball, I think there are eight games that uh, open <coughs> April the 7th. Right. So, uh, tune into that. I'm actually wearing... Uh, our minor league Copa jerseys, uh, my backward or my upside down cow hat. That's what I'm wearing right now. They can see it. Yep. No, you can't. It's backwards. They really should have put it <clears throat> off a couple of days. Yeah. Opening day is a Monday. It's supposed to be. Yeah. Not here. It's on a Friday, but at least it's at home in Wichita this year and not like it was last sure. year. Sure. So kind of cool with that. And we get fireworks that night. So that's cool too. Mm. Um, but uh, but yeah, they they be sure and video those. Sure, so I can watch <laughs> absolutely. Them. Everybody, make sure you videotape. Always uh-huh. videotape fireworks. Right. It's way better to watch them through your camera anyway. Yeah, yeah. that's the best way to see them. Uh, but yeah, they released the name for Copa in minor league baseball. Minor league teams have like alternate identities and stuff like that. And I was really pumped for this one because I dated I, a chick that had that. Yes, mm-hmm. I, I'm just still married to one. Um, Ooh, I'm but telling. that's okay. She knows. Um, but they have different identities and different promos that they do throughout the year to where they change their name on games. And uh, I've actually known about this one for over a year. So I've been really excited for them to finally release it. And they finally did. And it's for Spanish heritage, uh, like celebration. And so there's three games that we change our name to, um, the Tumba Vacas, which, uh, translated means the cow tippers. So that's, uh, I it think actually that's means cool. the cow tumors. I think it's yeah. like the tombs, like yeah, cow the, the tombs. Cow tumors. So yeah. yeah. Well, Robert what about Tomb Raiders? It's oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Laura Croft is actually going to show up. <laughs> there you go, that heifer going in, going through mm-hmm. all those mazes. Um, so I'm pumped for that. Uh, but while we've been watching, Did, am I the only one who got sexually turned on by her? Yep, yep. Laura Croft with those short shorts. I mean, at the video game, yeah, yeah. definitely. But uh, Angelina Jolie, no. Yeah, really, I, you don't I, find her hot. I do not find Angelina Jolie. Really? No, no, no. I'm talking. I'm. I'm talking like. Yeah, Angelina Jolie is hot. No. But the video game character, no. That's. Too oh, pic- I jerk off to that video. Too, game. Yeah, yeah. No, it's too pixelated for me. You know. 
Yeah, yeah so, it was PS1. Yeah, exactly. So that wasn't the best image. Maybe that's why she looks so hot. See, right. video game. It's I like having the, your beer goggles on. Yeah. I take the video game character over Angelina Jolie. Huh. Wow. Yeah, okay. I, yeah. I do not. I never found her attractive. Oh, nice. Which, ironically, she probably never found me attractive either, so we're a perfect match. Yep. Well, her sure. dad's hot. <laughs> <laughs> John Voight. Right. Uh, but during the minor league season, there's uh, something that's new that's coming out, but I wanted to get your guys' opinion on this. Uh, they are trying out something new to combat stealing signs. Um, I think they're even calling it the Astros tool. Not really. Uh, it's called Pitchcom. It's um, in major leagues. I know, major league, and, and they've been trying it out over spring uh, okay. training, What is what I'm saying. Okay. So they've been trying it through spring training, and it looks actually pretty fucking cool. The The catcher has a... A like, mitt and a chest protector <laughs> and a mask no. and Oh, he's going mask this time. Yeah, yeah he's going mask. mask. Full right. mask. Yeah. And a cup. Yeah. He's going to have a cup. Some guys don't. Cleats. Gonna have some oh, cleats. is he? Yeah. What about pants? Yep. He, okay. No and jo- a shirt. No jock strap though. I already said cup. No, but those are slider shorts with cup inserts. Yeah, he's just got to put it loose in there. Yeah. <laughs> Hope it holds in place. <laughs> jock strap takes up too much real estate. <laughs> it's just, he's just going to have a jock strap on. That's <laughs> that it. What it is? Yeah. Nice. nice. Yeah, that way out. he doesn't have to stop to shit. <laughs> yeah. He just. <laughs> Right there behind the plate. That's what I think <laughs> your fucking calls were. Who oh. the hell thought to make those ass? I don't know. They're this like the chaps. S- like the second assless week chaps. in a row that we've had this conversation. <laughs> oh, no. or two out of three weeks? Yeah, something like that. Um, but no, they, they're going to have an armband. And the armband is almost kind of looks like a remote control, <clears throat> but it can actually, the, by the buttons that the catcher pushes, there is a small speaker that only the pitcher can really hear, but they've given it to like uh, four other players on the infield so they know what pitches are playing. And I don't know if it's all infielders. Maybe I think it's just five, four players total. Total, and, and it, yeah. it can be anybody. Five, yeah, I think it's, I thought I said, I thought I read five, but that might include the pitcher and the catcher. Okay. But I think that's what I read was five players could have it. I can see the middle making a difference, like the middle infielders, it, them hearing it, and then maybe the center fielder yeah. so he can direct traffic out in the yeah. outfield maybe. Um, but it's really cool. It just fits up in the hat. It doesn't bother anything, and, and it's just quiet enough, but just loud enough to where they can hear it, but the other opposing team can't. I really hope that they whatever voice comes through has to be the voice of the catcher. Of the catcher, just for Sal Perez. Yeah. Okay, guy, we're going to do ball. <laughs> what? <laughs> so it's even more conf- confusing than Could the be. fucking hand singer. <clears throat> Could be. be like Siri. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Curveball, down, in, shake off, playing, shake it off by Taylor Swift. <laughs> no, no, Taylor Swift. Swift was a fox from David the Gnome. <laughs> was it really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never saw that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what do you guys think about this? You think it's kind of a cool idea, or do you <clears> hate <throat> it? Do you not like it because it's new technology? What do you think? It doesn't bother me at all. I mean, they already had their secret signals anyway, so yeah. But you can pick up on what they are. You're not supposed to. I but, mean, that's kind of in the spirit of the game. You're I don't not supposed know. to. No, if it's blatantly obvious, hell yeah, you can pick them up. You just can't bang on a fucking trash can and use an electrical signal to be well, able yeah, to tell the, the guy. The runner the can, but the batter. God, I've seen. I saw Pudge Rodriguez just fucking dress somebody down one time. One of the Royals players for peeking back while he was in the batter's box. Oh yeah. Oh, Pudge called time and fucking tore that guy a new asshole. Just yeah. gave him a lecture on the ethics of baseball. Yeah. Well, like and generally, whenever there's a runner on second base, you mix up your sign. So you, mm-hmm. we would always do like follow a number. So if it was follow the one, it's the it's the sign directly after that, or follow right. the four. Or after the flash, whatever it was. So when you got a runner on second base, that guy's peeking in. He's not doing anything wrong, and he can. And if it's off speed, if it's off speed, your your hand, your fingers are open when you're on the base pass. And if it's a fastball, your arms are closed, or your hands are closed, to to try to just pick it up. But that that was totally legal, and that's kind of like an unwritten rule. That's okay. why you do that. Sure. So with this, you can't do that. There's <clears throat> no way you can fucking pick up on signs. I and I like, like it. I kind of like it. Yeah. I, it, it doesn't bother me one way or the other. Okay. I don't care. Fair. At least now catchers won't have to paint their fucking fingernails. Yeah. But um, they're going to know what to throw, too. Like, was the hitters walking up? He's like, eh, you know what? Go that, ahead. This is what it's going to be. Very well could cut down on the number of mound visits. Because how many times do fucking pitchers and catchers have to meet out halfway because they can't get on the same page? Yeah. 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 I, I see this being a, a, a pro thing that should be in the game. I, I really like this idea. It doesn't bother me near as much as the other thing that they're talking about. I, I hope they get their own, like, uh, the pitchers d- do get one thing. I hope they get their own button to shake the sign off where it's just mm. like, fuck, fuck you. no, <laughs> fuck no, <laughs> fuck no. I. <laughs> it's actually got a motorized thing in the captain that shakes their head <laughs> so they don't have to expend the energy. 
<laughs> to shake them off. To shake them off, yeah. All right. Like I mean, they've got to conserve their energy if they're going to go into late innings. Yeah. Uh, um, but the other thing in baseball that, that they're, they just started talking about, apparently, but uh, they're also, I think the MLBPA and the MLB are, are talking about <clears throat> not allowing runners to lead off, and this would be a rule for next year. That's a joke. That had to be an April Fool's. I thing. I really hope not. That had to be. An, that was an April Fool's. That thing. had to be. Look at I, when they posted that. I think. Well, fuck. you may be right. Yeah. <laughs> it may be, but fuck. Well, then whoever posted it can fucking fuck go off. to hell. Yeah, you piss me off. That's the whole thing about baseball. If the ball is is in play, it's live. Right. <laughs> But anyways, another thing that happens on April 8th, moving on, uh, our buddy David, the caveman Rickles, will also be fighting his bare knuckles fight yep. against uh, uh, his poor on wife. The mound. His, yeah. His poor wife. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Rickles versus Rickles. Yeah. Yep. She liked it so much better when he had gloves. She'd kick his ass. I've met her before. Probably. She can, hold, she can hold karate. her own. Uh, but no, he goes up against Mike. We all thought they were black belts, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's going up against Mike the Marine Richmond on April 8th, so good luck to him. I, uh, uh, I ran yeah. into a buddy of mine today that I hadn't seen for a little bit uh, mm-hmm. at my job, and he came in, and him and I were sitting there chatting, and I guess him and your boy, uh, that Keith Litsky guy, oh, yeah. bought a car wash together. And so I was like, oh, I said, uh, Dave Rickles actually owns a car wash. And so we're talking about that, and he goes, yeah, actually, a couple times something on ours is broken, and so I actually somebody gave me Dave's number and I called Dave and Dave actually came out and fixed it like two or three times he's done that it's something small and he'd fix it and I'd be wow. like what do I owe you and he's like ah, I don't know he never would give me an answer and just I was like don't worry about it or whatever but he'd never give me an answer I said he goes I don't know what to do for the guy I said you know it'd be I hope he gets hit with a fucking invoice all of a sudden <laughs> like twenty thousand dollars I You're said right. you know it would be really funny and he goes what's that I said you should just like randomly show up to his car wash. And give him tickets to his fight. <laughs> Just give him, yeah. I'd be like, hey, dude, I heard this Mike the Marine Rich, Rich, Richmond guy is a bad son of a bitch. You should check this fight yeah. out. You might just want to watch this from the stands. I know you're a fighter. Now, this might be up your alley. You should check this out. <laughs> that is cool that Dave's not just a fucking the money behind it, that he actually knows the mechanics of it. Yeah. Yeah. His father in law, I think, is who he got his from or something like that. Yeah, something like that. And he started helping his father in law fix him and shit and then got into, well, you want. We want to buy it or something along those lines. I like lines. to think that with Litsky is just the water was off. Yeah. <laughs> that was the only problem. <laughs> Dave's like, to the le- lefty Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> Good shit. All right. Well, that's all I got for baseball but mo- or baseball and MMA. But moving on to the football, uh, Bruce Arians, since the last time we had our episode, Bruce Arians is going to retire from coaching. Um, but Tom Brady said he was a good coach and he was a good guy. I think it might be because of Brady. It, it, this yeah. it, it has to be. You'd have to be a schmuck to think it's not. When he, when Brady was first on that team, and Bruce Arians was calling him out on, in the media. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, out. I forgot about that. Yeah, and I think Brady was like, "Fuck this guy." And I think behind the scenes, he was like, "All right, I'll come back." But yeah, but I don't. I'm not playing for Arians, and I think that's when he was like, "Look, Bruce, we need you to step away." I think I think that's what happened. Well, they put him up in the front office. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> but step away from the field. Is away he? From the are coach. they making him general manager, or what are they? What are they doing with him? I don't know what he's doing. I don't think he's selling he tickets. He's yeah. selling tickets. Yeah, <laughs> hot dogs. <laughs> Get your hot dogs. Yep. Yeah, foam fingers. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but but the public statement that he made, though, on the other hand, that was said he he was a good coach and good person and all. Oh, that of course stuff. he did. Yeah, yeah, because you know what those players say. Gotta play politics. They, they, yeah, exactly. Speaking of politics, uh, here's another one. Uh, Tyreek Hill, after his first practice with Miami, he said this, and I quote, uh, going from Mahomes to Tua is a lot like going from a Ferrari to a used 2001 Honda Civic. I doubt he said that. I bet that was, you bet you read that one on April 1st again. Scotty. I'm reading all these today, so I'm sitting here going. But they're, they're probably three days old. If it's April Fool's, this is probably the most accurate April Fool's thing that's out there. It, even it's if it's fucking, accurate, you don't say that. Yeah, I mean, you're just you causing strife on your team. I mean, <laughs> any any idiot knows. It's, it's, it's I think it's somebody it's posted it, and then fucking. Did, did they have the handle the real Tyree Kill? Uh, no, no, I, I, no, it was I don't probably think like that. James Eleven. At it, I think it said Adam Schefter actually, if I remember correctly. So, but it still could be April Fools. But I, I you know what? Even if it's if it is <clears throat> funny, if it's not, it's fucking accurate. He's, typically been pretty soft-spoken throughout his entire career yeah 
Speak I mean, soft, carry a big stick. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Beat your fucking kid with it. That's where I was going, Scott. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, it was implied, Scotty. I got it. Um, you and, just put it right out there in the open. Yeah, and the and the last thing uh, for the NFL, um, there's still at least until since, while we're recording the show today, there's quite a few big names out there that are still unsigned free agents. We'll see what happens, but one is uh, Tyron Matthew, uh, OBJ, Jadavian Clowney, Melvin Ingram, Will Fuller, Rob Bronkowski. Julian Edelman uh, did go to the Bucks, and uh, Gronkowski was actually found pictured with Edelman during a practice. But Gronk has come out and said that he is not ready to make his decision whether or not he's going to come back on the field next year. Bullshit. He doesn't want to practice. He will be out there mm-hmm. next fucking season <clears throat> after all of the bullshit practices and warm-ups and all that shit are over. This was a big thing that they used to do like in the 90s. Veterans would <clears throat> would waffle on their decision to retire to get out of training camp. Exactly. And that's, I think, what's going on. What do you think, Derek? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But um, And I've read that Matthew may end up signing with the Broncos. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, I heard he uh, met with the Saints uh, pretty, he? pretty recently, too. Yeah. He was, he's one of these guys that pisses me off. Yeah. He, he'll, Touched like, me. late in the fucking fourth quarter, he'll, like, lay a good hit on somebody and stand over him and flex. And it's like, dude, you've been getting fucking torched all goddamn game. And now you waited till the last fucking minute. You finally did your job. Yeah. And you're celebrating like you just won the fucking Super Bowl, you douchebag. Right. I, I thought a, you hated him because he took your T bowl nickname. Yeah. What's that? The honey badger. Uh, the honey badger? Yeah. Uh, the, the money badger is what they called me. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like a badger that took cum on his face. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, That's all badgers. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. <laughs> but yeah. And, I didn't know that at the time. Yeah, I shouldn't have given yeah. myself that nickname. Yeah, that's what they're notorious for. I, right. I would have looked that up, but I had come in my eyes. That's like, you know, when you sh- shine a flashlight in a frog's eyes and it doesn't move? Uh-huh. If you start jacking off right in front of a badger, he just stands there sure ready will. to take it. Yeah. Nice. Mouth open. Yeah, little tiny tongue hanging out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. Uh, but that's all the really important His sports. His eyes just squint a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he's ready for it to happen. Uh-huh. But, but he's he not ready. He'll... Yeah, and he doesn't want to look away. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, that's all the really important sports uh, that we had going on. Yes, there was some uh, game uh, that was on on How about mon- that Monday Duke night. North Carolina game? Yeah, that that one was How a good one. Good was that, that was great. great. Game. It was an excellent game. And then you know, Coach K was out, and I just lost interest. Yeah, I just I don't Pretty know. Much. I don't know what the fuck happened. Yep. Yeah. But anyways, moving on. All right. All right. That's the sports for this week's episode. Uh, now we get to get on to some fun stuff. Generally, we do a real shit or horse shit. We're still going to do that, but it is not going to be sports related. Uh, this is going to be real shit or horse shit. I'm a man edition. These are going to be things. So you're going to have to sit this one out. Shut the fuck up. Uh, no, these are going to be things that uh, are almost stereotypes that they say all men do. Uh, and some of them women probably don't know about it, but uh, there's quite a few of them. And I was kind of curious to see uh, how many of them we actually all do. So this one's going to be the first one. Real shit or horse shit. When I'm lost, I don't ask for directions or use the G- GPS. I just drive around. Horse shit. I use the GPS like a yeah. motherfucker. If I don't know where the fuck I'm going, I am using GPS I, automatically. I I probably came here two dozen times before I had to stop using the fucking GPS. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know what I do when I get lost because I don't get lost anymore because I have GPS. <laughs> right. The, I, whoever started the stereotype. Okay, this is, this is the way it used to be. I know with my dad. We could go to the strangest fucking city that we had never been to before and he would always know exactly where to go and i found out why years later that fucker would get a, a road map yeah and study it for days <laughs> he knew the exact path he knew all the fucking street names and all this shit that's why he never stopped to ask for directions or ever got lost and maybe he was lost and just never let us know sure um but we never didn't get where we were trying to go uh but now you don't have to do that. Yeah. And and like in the absolute worst case scenario in today, 
mm-hmm. let's just say all of a sudden the internet drops out, you don't have the ability to use GPS, which one of us wouldn't go and find the nearest gas station and ask where the fuck to go? I oh, that's wouldn't. the last place. I'd yeah, ask. I wouldn't do that. What? Fucking dumb teenager behind the fucking counter. All right, or a restaurant or you, something. I would drive to New England and get directions because they all know how to fucking get everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to go down to 405. You're going to stop at the Dunkin' Donuts. There's going to, what was it on Saturday Night Live? There's going to be a retarded kid in the parking lot selling fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> fucking great. All right. Next one. Real shit or horse shit. If my wife asks me to do a new chore, I do it incorrectly so I don't ever get asked again to do it. That is horse shit. Okay. I actually pretend I didn't hear her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I do. Honey, we take out the trash. <laughs> Honey. Yeah. Then all of a sudden I hear. <laughs> and then the door open and uh, she took out the trash. There you go. So then Works she comes out. down to yell at me and I said, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, what What is said new chore? Uh, I don't know. Just, just laundry. Do the dishes. Just, you know, something that you don't normally do, but she needs you to do it for some reason. Yeah, that doesn't happen. You, you think I'm gonna, uh, an Asian is going to let me do the laundry? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. I mean, anything. Wash the chopsticks, you know, something like that. And, and again, that's why I bought her. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, mostly if my wife, any new chores, anything my wife asked me to do involves tools and, you know, installing something or repairing sure. something or whatever. And so, no, I don't intentionally fuck it up. I just make it take way longer than it should so I can make her think it was way harder than it was. <laughs> I'll take a full afternoon to install a light fixture. <laughs> <laughs> That's three wires, folks. Three, three <laughs> wires and two screws, and I will make it like I just fucking built her a house. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a, that's a guilty one for everybody too. Uh, but no, that for me this is real You've shit. You've never installed a light fixture. I have to. Believe it or not. Uh, but is that any, why it's so dark in here? Yeah, that's why I had to have Denny come in and. Do yeah, shit. but uh, th- that's a bigger job, man. Sure. Um, but no, I I think for me this is actually real shit. Uh, I am not allowed to load the dishwasher. I'm not allowed to even put the fucking trash like bag back into the trash can because I do it incorrectly. On that one though, I don't know what I do incorrectly, but uh, she doesn't uh, really want to teach me because she wants <clears throat> to do it her own way. So yeah, this one for me is real shit. Uh, next one. You think she's just sick of you? Oh, maybe very much. Yes, one hundred percent. It's just nothing it's, you're, you do is going to be right. It's she's like just, you fuckers. It's not anything different. Come on now, dude. Okay. See now you're just fucking this part up. Okay, fine. You're on a roll. You've done every mm-hmm. segment fucked up. I yeah, am, probably. Uh, all right, next one. Real shit or horse shit? I have sent other dudes pictures of my poop. I sent Jeremy a picture of you once. Does that count? <laughs> no. Then horse shit. I've never done that. This is I real did, shit for me. I, I, <laughs> I, I did send my wife a picture of the dog taking a shit once. <laughs> See, that one to me is acceptable. Yeah, this is horse shit. I have never done this, nor will I ever do this. My buddy Gabe has an extensive collection. <laughs> Everything from chicken tenders to the Loch Ness Monster (laughs) and everything in between. (laughs) It's so fucking gross. (laughs) Oh, oh, that's gross, Jeremy. It sure is. (laughs) That's why I sent him to Gabe. Right. I can can probably do a group group text with you in there, Scott. I'm perfectly fine. You can Uh, make a TikTok out of it. I'm sure I could. (laughs) (laughs) Next one. Real shit or horse shit. I have fallen into a minor coma in a chair at the mall while my wife was shopping. Again, horse shit. I just don't go. I, I'd say that's true. And if I do go, I can't fall asleep. I just I can't do that. A, it's in public places, A. But, yeah, this is horse shit for me. Jeremy? It's obvious horse shit for me. I'm an insomniac, so, yeah, I'm not <laughs> falling asleep. You're not falling However, asleep. However, I... Have never had any problem just going and sitting in those fucking chairs. No, no. Sometimes they have those massage chairs. Mm-hmm. How filthy are those? And yet I still use them. And you, oh, still, you, do. you still get a happy ending? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you have to. If you're going to sit in a chair, you got to jack well, off. I do the dirty grandpa ha- happy ending where I go stick my dick in the pot machine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gross. All right. Uh, oh, that was another thing I watched. I watched Jackass Forever. Oh, real quick. What did you think? 
okay. Okay. All right. Jackass. Jackass. <laughs> okay, cool. The uh, new guys take a lot of the brunt. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, yeah, because yeah, the old guys <laughs> keep getting hurt. You watch this show. Those kids watched that when they were little, and they knew what was going to mm-hmm. happen. They're like, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Hit and tase my nutsack. It's going to be hilarious. And Johnny, you know what happens when you get hit by a bull. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the first three times. <laughs> that bull fucked him up, oh, too. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Next question. No spoilers, though. Yeah. Real shit or horse shit? When I've misplaced something, I will look for an hour and still not find it. Yet my wife will find it in five minutes or less. That's real shit, and mm-hmm. it's usually because she fucking misplaced it. That's exactly fucking right. This is real shit, and it's because she took it from where I put it last and put it somewhere where it's not supposed to fucking go. I'm like, honey, have you seen my wallet? I can't find my wallet anywhere. And she's like, <sighs> and then walks over and opens the freezer. And I'm like, <laughs> why the fuck was it in the freezer? <laughs> Well, I just figured you'd look next to the popsicles. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Cool down that spinach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy? Uh, this is real shit, um, but more because my wife, it, it's her instructions on where things are. Oh. It's in the thing behind the deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Next question. Real shit or horse shit? I enjoy farting and watching a person's reaction when it hits them. 100% real. <laughs> uh, my favorite thing ever, I don't know if I've told this story on the show or not. Uh, I was with a buddy when we were, I was probably 18, 19 years old, and we were driving, and his uh, driver's side window did not roll down. Yes. And yeah, yeah. Have I told that story? Yes. Yeah, that uh-huh. was the fucking greatest thing ever. That, I don't remember. I don't remember this one. Uh, his driver's side window would not roll down, and he's like, oh, God, oh, dude, roll your window down. And I went, no. <laughs> and he goes, no, dude, oh, God, roll it down now. And I went, no. And so now we're driving 45 miles an hour. He's standing on the gas pedal with the door open, taking <laughs> breaths. Out, and we're not on the highway or anything. We're we're going down a two lane main road. Yep. Oh fuck, that oh, was yeah. that was one of the greatest moments of my entire life. Yep. Uh, this is one hundred percent real shit for me as well. Uh, my favorite time story or whatever was I had just gotten out of a boss's meeting, and at the time my boss had a really small office, and uh, right when I was getting ready to get up, I I, I damn near shit myself, and it was bad and he's in there laughing but we ate latex hold on we've got a girl that works with us and uh i knew that it was so foul that i ended up walking up to her and said hey boss wants to see you in his office real quick so she gets up from her desk walks into the office and you saw her fucking reaction like she just hit a fog of shit right as she walked into the office and just gagged it was fucking hilarious jeremy uh, this is bullshit for me. I don't like doing this. The, what? The smell of my nuts is plenty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That generally just drives people out. I don't know how you guys are putting up with it, to be honest with you. Okay. I'm wearing my crotchless jeans. <laughs> your, your chaps. Let my funk out. I brought the funk. Great. My, my favorite thing, uh, Biggs told me a story one time that at the old club, he was walking past, and there's somebody's sandwich sitting on the on the table. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, Biggs goes, whose sandwich is this? And they're like, it's so-and-so's. And he's like, oh. And he just turns his ass right towards the sandwich and just, <laughs> <laughs> like, right on the sandwich. And then just beelines for the office, like, straight-faced. He's like, I, I kept a straight face until I got the office and I lost it. And that guy is just going, you motherfucker, I was going to eat that. I haven't eaten all goddamn day. And, da, da, da. and then said, Biggs said, after he got done laughing, he came back out and the guy's sitting there eating the sandwich. <laughs> Now, one of my favorite TikToks is the ones where the guys, like, drop something to cover the sound of the fart. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's like this 10-second just fucking juicy ripper. And then it's... Yeah. And they drop a pin or something. Yeah, <laughs> yep, that gets me every Did time. Did I cover too. it up? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one. Real shit or horse shit. I aim to the side of the toilet so anyone within earshot don't know I'm peeing. Halfway real shit. Really? Yeah. Uh, Do you want them to think you're shitting? No. 
<laughs> Mainly when I aim for the side of the toilets to piss off the skid mark. Okay. Oh, yeah. my God. I will, I will piss that thing right off. That is a fun game for me. <laughs> Don't sure. you dare oh use God. that toilet brush. God gave me a pressure uh-huh. washer. And, my God, I'm using nature's pressure washer. Okay, exactly. okay. Snow bullshit. When I was looking for these, there was that one, and I was just like, nobody fucking That's does that. That's a fucking that. carnival game, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> That is my jam. Oh, and the that's, prize that's is gross. my enjoyment. <laughs> Absolutely. Because, uh, no, this is 100% for me. This is real shit. And Jeremy? Uh, not <laughs> anymore. It's it's not real for me. It's horse shit for me. Uh, getting older, that stream ain't really strong enough to aim it anywhere. It just kind of falls dribbles? out. Dribbles? Okay. You really not do dribbles. This? It just falls. Okay. You really do that? What? To hit this to go for the aim for the side of the toilet? Yeah, inside the side of the bowl so my wife doesn't know. How do you fucking even really see that well when you're sitting down? <laughs> <and> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's like siphoning the, the gas out of a car. It's okay. Just that kind of stream. Okay. Uh, next one, real shit or horse shit? Let me paint you a better picture, Scotty. <laughs> my dick is hanging down. <laughs> and gravity's just pulling the urine really? and maybe a little bit of semen out of my penis. Yeah, that's great. Chunky pee. Mm-hmm. Gross. Like uh-huh. My yeah, my cheese, my 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 pee has the consistency of blue cheese dressing. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, next one: real shit or horse shit? When doing doggy style, I definitely look at my wife's butthole. I guess real shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We all we all I think do that. We all do that. Horse shit. It, I'm the fucking TV is on. <laughs> <laughs> And we don't fuck with the lights on anymore. It's not that I wouldn't. It's just dark. And I don't have the best eyes anymore. <laughs> okay. And last one. Real shit or horse shit. I have taken off my underwear, kicked it up into my hand, and feel like a goddamn ninja master. Oh, that's real shit, but mainly because I'm too fat to get stuff off the floor anymore. <laughs> I be you become very talented with your feet once you weigh almost 300 pounds. Yeah. This is uh, this is definitely real shit. And what follows the the kick up to your hand and feel like a ninja master? It's the are you can into the dirty clothes hamper, making it and then saying Kobe, Jeremy. Yeah, and at my age, uh, whenever I do it, I'm I just got to still got it. <laughs> Very good. All yeah. right, I'm like Ralph Mouth. Yeah, there's a reference nobody will get. Nope. All right, that is real shit for horse shit for this Set week. On it, Scotty. Now we get to move on to the ever growing and ever popular ah. bad advice with Jeremy. Uh, guys, if you guys have anything you want to ask advice about, uh, you can send those uh, those detailed descriptions of your situation into our uh, Instagram, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines, and uh, yeah, we will put it. Uh, put it on the show if we like it or if jeremy likes it anyways uh this week's uh is coming from i think it's mckintyrian 75 mac and Ma- yeah mckintyrian mckintyrian i don't know who yeah. gives a fuck it doesn't matter carl uh, call him <laughs> yeah carl <laughs> yeah. 75 yeah, Scotty. Yeah. i don't know where are you getting mckintyrian yeah mckintyrian 75 a r l yeah right carl three k's right yeah. <laughs> oh, no <laughs> Uh, but anyways, uh, they write, Dear Jeremy, yeah. I'm an aspiring musician from Virginia. Slowly, my dreams are starting to fade as I'm having trouble finding other band members and getting gigs. Do you have any advice of where I should start or what I should do? Well, of course I do. Uh, first piece of advice, uh, quit. Uh <laughs> Chances are you're just not that good of a musician. I mean, 22 and you haven't made a fuck, dude. What's your problem? But if you do want to stick with this, as you know, I manage bands. And uh, <laughs> sometimes, in fact, every time, those bands tend to break up. And I still manage those individuals who uh, leave the band and go out on their own. And so I've got plenty of musicians that you could potentially sign on with and really make some nice music. First off, we got the uh, we got the banjo player from the Doll Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I can get you the crash cymbal player from the Keystone Mops. <laughs> <laughs> I got the uh, the guy who plays the Mountain Dulcimer and the Bug Nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> or you could get the Hammer Dulcimer player from Guantanamo Water Park. <laughs> 
The electric trombonist from the uh, Possum Jockeys. <laughs> the harmonica player from Jews Traveler. <laughs> get you the washboard player from the Muff Links. Uh, I can get you the triangle player from the uh, fifth trimester. Uh, the slide whistle player from the from uh, Chomo Candy. Uh, the cowbell player from the vaginal tsunami. Uh, the Congo and Bongo, and I want to be clear about this, not bongos, just one bongo uh, player from the Biscuit Dicks. Uh, the finger symbol player from the Slutty Professors. Uh, the oboe player from Twat Lava. And, of course, the fiddle player from that hot, white-acting uh, African-American band, the Cracker Blacks. So... If you want any of those guys to play with you, feel free to hit me up at any time, which is going to be kind of difficult because in no way, shape, or form are you allowed to contact me. So uh, take it from there, man. That's my advice. Jesus my face hurts. <laughs> I haven't fucking left that hard. It's a long time. I'm fucking crying over here. Oh. Oh. <sighs> I manage a lot of bands, guys. I've been very successful. Oh. That's amazing. Oh. I'm sure it is. Oh, good God. Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, I believe McIntyre's 75, <laughs> whoever you are. Oh. Triple K Carl, he comes from, <laughs> yeah. from yeah. Virginia. McIntyrean he's 75. A, sounds like a perfect fit for the yeah. Cracker Blacks. <laughs> sure he does. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, anyways, guys, if you have any uh, any suggestions for bad advice, do send them in at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram. <coughs> now, moving on if we can. By uh, the way, I want to point out, <laughs> in case anybody doesn't know this, okay, the Mountain Dulcimer and the Hammer Dulcimer – are nothing alike. <laughs> okay. The mountain dulcimer is like a stringed instrument that you strum like a guitar, and the mountain dulcimer is like a big xylophone. Wow. And yet they're both dulcimers. Okay. And up until today, I'm not sure that I knew that there was an instrument called a dulcimer. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure that they fucking rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Moving on to overrated or underrated. Same thing applies. you have any suggestions right. for this <clears> segment? <throat> Send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. All right. First one, overrated or underrated. This is actually a fan suggestion. This is at Sam Thomas 29 He wants to know, overrated or underrated fraternity or sorority hazing? Oh, underrated. Oh, yeah? I don't know why they get rid of this shit. There's nothing better than making a kid push a peanut shell across a hallway while 10 men piss all over his back. <laughs> That's the best thing in the fucking world. And that kid's having the time of his life. It's the best. These are his golden years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to just remember that forever, and it's going to make him a better person for it. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm going to go with this as underrated as well. Fraternities, it's always something like that. You're taped up to the wall for like 12 hours or some shit. Oh, that's just cruel. Yeah, and sorority hazing, I I, I just uh, fantasize that it's a whole bunch of lesbian stuff, so underrated. Jeremy? Yeah, I'm, I'm mixed on this. Fraternity hazing, no. Sorority hazing, yes. I will haze the fuck out of a sorority girl. <laughs> <laughs> when I picture sororities hazing, I picture just a lot of <clears throat> communal showers and yeah. Pillow fights. Right. You know, there's ugly chicks, too. They, do, they don't let them in those. Yeah, you've never been to a sorority. Yeah. Yeah. You've never seen the it's, Omega Moose. Just, just <laughs> the yeah, Omega I most Moose. certainly have, actually. <laughs> um, according to Booger, they're a bunch of pigs. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, you know, I... Um, I got nothing. <laughs> that's, that's where I'm out of that. So. Counting with the Omega Moves. <laughs> sure did. There we go. I can't get past that movie. He <laughs> rapes that girl at the end. <laughs> he he flat out, I mean, it's not even like thought of it. He fucking raped that girl. <laughs> yeah, and his dick game and was that, that good, she married him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. She loved it so much because <laughs> that's how women react to being raped. Right. Uh, never that good to, dick. Never had one tell you to choke her. Sure, I have. <laughs> Mostly to get this over with. Put her out of her fucking misery. <clears throat> Poison me. I've heard that. Um, you know what? Actually, here's a good one. 
uh, that could have been put up on this on the real shit horse shit thing. Overrated or underrated cat calling women. Uh, I'm gonna go with shit. I'm gonna get. I guess overrated. I've never done it. I was gonna say they they make it sound like a whole bunch of us fucking do this shit. No, this is overrated. What makes you think you acting like an asshole is gonna get any of the, in a attractive girl? I like to think at least once it's worked. I'm sure, and it's like <laughs> yeah, I would like some of that. Yeah, yeah, right. Get the Did fuck he out just of grab here. his crotch and whistle at me? Ooh, <laughs> exactly. He's an old romantic. Regular Don Juan, that guy is. The, yeah. The best I, one is Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah. Where they're standing out front of like the fucking oh, yeah. quick stop or whatever, and this chick walks by. It's like, hey, yo, hey, yo, baby, you ever have your asshole licked by a fat man in an overcoat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's cat calling for Silent Bob. <laughs> <laughs> that I would do. <laughs> if I could stand behind somebody <clears throat> and they didn't see me, it'd, it'd have to be <laughs> a big person. But yeah, I would do that. So, um, that's hilarious. Now, here here is my problem with this. I, I saw a video. This has been... God, 10 years ago, but some guy made a video of this woman showing how bad catcalling was and her like walking down the streets of New York City. And I'm going to say 25 of them were awful, but a lot of them were just guys going, hey, how you doing? Really? Yeah. Hmm. And apparently she's supposed to, people are not allowed to address her. Hmm. That's catcalling. So I guess it really depends on what you consider catcalling. Okay. If if I just never had to talk to anybody, that'd be fine. <clears throat> be fine with me too. Have you ever seen the ones, the videos of the chick that'll take her phone, put it in her back pocket, and then like video all the dudes like checking out her ass? Oh yeah. 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 I, I'm gonna end up on one of those. Have you ever noticed? <laughs> though, have you ever noticed though that the <clears throat> the primary women who publicly come out against catcalling are women who probably never get catcalled 100 percent. oh the time. you see the bitch that started the me too movement mm -hmm. holy fuck she'll never get me too <laughs> she has nothing to worry about right and, and i mean it's it's okay i'm sure that it sucks for women that this happens to but it sounds like such a fucking humble brag you know i hate it that i can't walk down the street with every without everybody telling me how pretty i am yeah no shit and the other thing is, is if it's an actual serious thing, then mm -hmm. that's a big ass red flag saying, no, you probably shouldn't because that dude's a, da a jackass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> I know you're into construction <clears throat> workers, but. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's probably a member of the village people. Right. Okay. Fucking next. Posers. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They never went to the YMCA. Right. Uh, next or one. in the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> They're not really macho, man, if you mm -hmm. ask me. There's only one of those. He his once, name is Randy fucking Savage. He actually never said he was a macho man. He wants to be a macho man. Well, who doesn't want to be Randy no Savage? No shit. Yeah, right. all Eating all them Slim Jims? Oh, yeah. 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 All right, next one. Overrated or underrated? Wordle. I play this. I'm still going to say overrated. You only play it. It's only one a day, and it's, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's like Jeremy and I were talking before the show. It's pretty much Hangman. I never really thought of it that way until Jeremy brought that up. So, yeah, I'm going to say overrated. This is fucking overrated. Quit sharing it on your profiles no, as I'm well. No, if I get a really good one, I'm going to share Fuck you. That. It's the dumbest fucking thing in the world. You get one word, one word per day. And if you fuck it up, you're, you're done. If I get it in two guesses, I share it. That's you're it, such though. a bitch. Stop it. It's no. ridiculous. You don't even follow me on Facebook anyway. I do, I, I do too. <clears throat> I've never actually played it, so I don't know, but I can tell you this. It's the only reason I get on Facebook, just to see how people do it. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I missed between that and invitations to play Candy Crush Saga. Right. Because that makes me feel wanted and desired. It, basically, that is the Facebook version of catcalling. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Women who take a lot of selfies overrated i fucking hate it oh but come on derek i hate it <clears throat> i can't stand it and they do it they will stop in the middle of a fucking crowd that's all walking one way to take a fucking selfie in front of some statue or some shit and all of a sudden everybody behind them has to stop so they can take their dumb fucking picture that they're never gonna look at again no 
Yeah, this is fucking overrated. Um, and the ones that piss me off the most are the ones that take the selfies and they're obviously altering their body position mm-hmm. or trying they're to alter up. the light just to make it look as good as humanly possible. But then when you find out and actually see a real picture of this individual, that's they look 200 pounds heavier and they are not attractive. Overrated as fuck. 200 seems extreme. Scotty, back right, have you 50. ever noticed that... It always seems to work out that cropped right in the middle of of the picture is cleavage. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, they do that on purpose. But shit. no, uh, and by the way, this I, I want to amend this. It's not just women. Dudes who do this too are just as obnoxious. Absolutely, hundred um, percent. It's here's here's my thing. They always post these pictures of them like at parties and clubs and shit, having this fucking time of their lives. And if you think about it, if you, you can see right through this. If you were having a good time, the last thing you would want to do is stop to take a fucking picture. <laughs> you would be kind of immersed in having the good time. Yeah. Anybody who's sitting there taking pictures with shit going on around them is probably not really fitting in. There you go. All right, last one. Uh, this is a fan. Jesus Christ, how many things do we have? Well, this is the last one. Uh, uh, this is a fan suggestion. This is from at Jake underscore Freeman 78. He wants to know, overrated or underrated, rim jobs. Overrated. No one goes near my asshole but Charmin. (laughs) (laughs) That is it. And I'm not going. There's only one asshole on this planet I'd eat, and she's with Ben Affleck right now. (laughs) Oh, over-fucking-rated. My answer is the exact same answer as what Derek just said, except for instead of saying Ben Affleck, say Justin Verlander. Okay. Okay. Jeremy? Giving or receiving? Both. Yeah, that's what I just did. Because my wife is really into giving them... (laughs) Our car's rims are beat to shit because she hits the fucking curbs like you would not believe. <clears throat> we don't have a vehicle on it that hasn't had a real good rim job to it. Just rougher than fucking sandpaper. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to Jeremy Joseph's favorite part of every single episode. This is the questions and preguntas segment. Whoa. Again, if you have any suggestions, send them to at laughing on the sidelines on uh, Instagram. First question Where is the worst place to have intercourse? Who wants this low hanging fruit? You or me, Derek? I'll take it. All right. In an open wound. <laughs> oh, God. That would be the worst place. <laughs> oh. Is that what you were thinking? I was thinking the nose. <laughs> 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 I said in a porta potty. That's where my what my answer is. That's I don't where wanna, you were conceived, I'm Scotty. Sure I don't know why was. you'd be so anti porta potty. Uh, you were conceived in an open wound yeah. in a porta potty. <laughs> really? I'm yeah, gonna go you, with uh, you were a side pocket. You didn't know that? No, I didn't. I was uh, I was gonna go with a uh, a twat lava concert. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. That sounds pretty dangerous. It sure does. <laughs> okay. It's hot. <laughs> Real hot. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next question. Hmm. Terrible names for a birth control medication. Pragmatic. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I got one. Okay. Cisgender. Sorry. <clears throat> Cis, blah, blah. Cisgender baby blocker is what I put. Okay. Uh, I got uh, plan A. Yeah. Because uh, plan B is go as the stairs and plan C is the clinic. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, I always thought plan A was butt sex. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, the fetal flush. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. That's that's good. Legal abortion was the other one I had. Mm-hmm. Um, next question. Things not to say to a pregnant woman. Eating for twins? Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I got. I would either say, uh, "Are you going to keep it?" <laughs> oh, fuck. Or, or uh, mind if I shake that baby's hand real quick? <laughs> <laughs> hey, kid, pull my finger. <laughs> yeah. Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> <laughs> yes, one hundred percent. Love it. Uh, next question: Something not to say at the end of a diversity training deal 
Uh, like a diversity training class? Yeah, yeah, a diversity training class. That's what I meant. Okay. Uh, so now that this class is all done, does this mean I can say the N-word in front of my black friends now? <laughs> Damn it. I, I kind of had something similar. I think you should go, definitely go up to the black guy at the end of the meeting and call him Darius. And his name's Jeff. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's what you should do. Make him feel I want to be mad at that, but I can't. <laughs> yep. I, I was actually spacing out because I just expected nothing to come <laughs> out. And, and that actually wasn't bad, Scotty. Thanks, thanks, buddy. That's your one for today. I, I still it. would like you to sit on the floor. Okay. But uh, <laughs> is it my turn? Yeah, yeah, it's your turn. I think that guy giving the seminar was kind of a fag. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I actually had one of those classes not long ago, and they had a, at one point, they had a slide, and mm-hmm. it was Tate, it wasn't like a racial slide, like, wee, but it was, uh, <laughs> it was like, uh, it was two pictures side by side. It was showing the difference between equality and like equity or something like that. Uh-huh. And uh, one of them was like, they're watching, they're watching a soccer game on this field, and there's three, uh, Three boxes that they're all standing on, all the same mm. size box. You don't mean vaginas, dude. No, okay. no, not puss. Okay. Uh, one short one that can't see over the wall, one tall one that can see just fine, and then one on a wheelchair that can't see over the wall. Okay. And they said, that's equity. This is equality. And it would be like the short one had a really tall box, the tall one had a really short box, and the guy in the wheelchair had a ramp. And so they could all see the field. Mm-hmm. And I said, those poor people have to watch soccer? <laughs> 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 like it. Those are the people that we should shun. <clears throat> yeah. Soccer fans. Right. All right. Uh, last one. Is it? Yep. This is the last one. All right. World, or I'm sorry, the world's worst board game. I got mine. Go. Jenga. 9-11 edition. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Uh, I got landscaping, the game. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, no. You've got army worms. Back two spaces. Fuck. You guys remember the game Operation? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. This would be sex change operation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dig it. All right, guys. Well, that's questions, preguntas for this week. Or Again. fish cleaning. That would be fun. Fish cleaning would be all right. Yeah, just get a big box of fish. Yeah. Sex change. Roll just, dice. Just, Perch. Just, just imagine <laughs> Caitlin on a board. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> Oh, that's bad. Uh, what was it? She come out. I, I don't know if we talked about this. How she'd come out against that woman swimmer, or the transgender swimmer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we decided not to talk about that. Yeah, she came out and said that that was that was horseshit, and or not necessarily that, but said that she should give the title back. Mm-hmm. And I thought the same Caitlyn Jenner said that that one woman of the year. <laughs> <laughs> the same one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, now we get to move on to a very popular segment of this show. Uh, This is what we like to call the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Um... Listeners, I actually was drafting real jobs, not bullshit jobs, last week. So I came in dead last. Jeremy won. I'm going to tell the mascot you said his job was bullshit. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> well. Guess who's getting a fucking pie in the face, you <laughs> son of a bitch. I wouldn't mind a pie in the face this year. I think that'd actually be kind of funny. We're gonna uh, be, you're going to be a fucking regular badger when we get done with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fun. Um, you're going to be the new money badger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, So I came in last. Derek came in second. Uh, Jeremy came in first place. So he gets the championship picks this week. Derek gets the sandwich picks, and I get the uh, shit bad titty fuck draft pick, the first one. Uh, this week's draft is going to be our favorite board games of all time. Okay? Sound like a plan? Sure. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be honest with myself, guys. I uh, I played this probably more than anything as far as when I was a kid. Solitaire. You didn't have any nope. fucking friends. No. No. I think... Uh, no. I don't think anybody's going to pick that. The only person I think is going to pick that is going to be fucking Jeremy. I take that back. I'm not going to pick that. Oh, uh, now I got to get a sleeper eventually. Uh, I'm going to go with Battleship. 
Okay. Yep, that's that's a good one on one. As in you sunk my I uh, you sunk my battleship. That's a good one. I like that one. Okay. All right, Derek. Clue. Fuck, that was the one I was gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> like, you son of a bitch. God damn you. I figured you're it was Derek in the basement with the cell phone. <laughs> God damn That's you. That's who stole it. You I, motherfucker. All I right. I made a joke about that. Some girl was talking about a professor in college the other day, and I go... She goes, God, he's just so difficult. He signs so much homework. I was like, you think that's bad? I mean, my professor killed a guy in a conservatory <laughs> with a candlestick. <laughs> nice. Plum? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that fucking plum, man. Yep. All right, Jeremy, you get two. Well, my favorite, of course, Trivial Pursuit. Okay. okay. All right. <clears throat> um, Is it trivia or trivial? Trivial. trivial. That's what I thought. Yeah. Dumb fuck. And I'm sorry. That um, was a game from the no, 70s, fuck Jeremy. Fuck you. Uh, 80s. True. Okay. Jack off. Close enough. And it just like everything else that's better than you, it came first. Okay. Fair enough. Well older than you, Scotty. Okay. It's it seems like once you were born, the world just kinda went downhill. Uh, fair Things enough. It's got worse. Yeah, okay. Um, and then I'm gonna go just because of the we've discovered a new uh range of questions you can ask for it. Guess who? Oh, oh damn yeah. it. Yeah. I was gonna go that route too. You can get super offensive with those questions. <laughs> you can. Oh, uh, damn it. I bet you it would be kind of fun Does to play now. Does your guy look like he might be into chubby white women? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, Derek, you got uh, you got one. I'm going to go Scrabble. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. Or I'll, I mean, I'll give that to you. Oh, well, yeah, you have to. I yeah, yeah, you took it. Uh, I'll go with uh, the staple. I'm going to go with Monopoly. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody would start that motherfucker, but you would never finish it. No. No. My, my family always played it to the end, and it was off. I mean, it's like one person gets out to the lead, and it's over. Mm-hmm. It's fucking stupid. Shut up. I liked it. Um, I'm going to then take... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take Connect 4. Okay. I played that a lot. Derek? Life. Yeah. I just I didn't get into it. My my uh, stepsister really did, but I did not. We used to like to play it backwards, so the person that had the <laughs> most kids in the shittiest house and the worst job won. <laughs> I, I kind of like it that way, actually. That's kind of good. Okay, Jeremy. Yeah, you get two. Dose two. Cards Against Humanity. Damn it. I, I don't know. Can you get that? Is that a card? I was going to call it that. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think well. anything that comes in a box that you play in a group. Okay. I didn't know we were playing those. All right. And I'm going to go with... This is a game that I love because I'm fucking great at it because I can come up with just bullshit on the spot. Balderdash. Okay. All right. Okay. I I put it under you. I'm going to put that under him. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you get the point. I want to be under Derek this time. <laughs> you, you normally are. Both of you guys just have to keep switching. <laughs> yeah, you're both great bottoms. Uh, yeah. All you. right, Derek, you get one. I try. Hungry, I'm, hungry hippos. Fuck you. If you know your house well enough, all you got to do is just pick whatever side that the house leans to. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you grew up in the houses that we all three grew up in. Do you know that if you go up to a real hippo and smack it on the ass, it won't eat marbles? <laughs> <laughs> it'll fucking eat you. Yes, though. it'll trample you. <laughs> uh, all right. You just picked Hungry Hungry Hippos, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to close my picks out with two games uh, that I, I actually do still play from time to time. Whenever we go over to Michi's house, we play Uno. Okay. Okay. And then uh, last but not least, that's the next one, the the Michi House Extravaganda, Uno and Dominoes. Okay. Look, I know people would criticize for stereotyping, but that's a real fucking thing. It ain't a stereotype if it applies 100% of the time. (laughs) Black people and Dominoes go hand in hand. Mexican Train is a game we play, and and it's fucking great. Uh, Derek, last one. Uh, we've actually played that game with your sister. I'm sure. Uh, Uno? No, Mexican Train. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> it was at the meatpacking plant. <laughs> Believe it or not, she always wins. 
Uh, She's the conductor of that train. Right. That's <laughs> all aboard. <laughs> She's got a special pocket watch. <laughs> Guess where her watch pocket is? Uh, In the side pocket. Yeah, mm-hmm. we need to get her a manscaped, by the way. We sure do. Uh, <laughs> Just so she can shave guys' balls while they're inside her. <laughs> They're in there most of the time. They're, yeah. they're balls, too. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Derek, last pick. Yahtzee. Yahtzee. All right. That's a good pick. I like it. And Jeremy, last pick. You know what? I have to do this just in honor of my wife. Chinese checkers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Well, that is our draft. Uh, I will put it up on Facebook uh, Wednesday around lunchtime, normally sometimes a little earlier, to where you can vote on your favorite list of our favorite board games. Uh, and whoever wins get the championships uh, championship picks next week. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, folks. Uh, Derek Alders, let me ask you a question. I know you're from Illinois, close to Chicago. Come rush hour, what's traffic like? Uh, Not very much in a rush, Jeremy. No? No. Pretty pretty gridlocked? Pretty well so, yes. Okay, there's a lot of towns that are known for that. Apparently Chicago, New York is well known for it. Uh, Los Angeles, certainly well known for it. And of course, as we all know, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Oh, God, yes. Fuck yes. And on December 15th, 1967, traffic in this 32nd largest town in West Virginia with a population of almost 4,300 people was so gridlocked that the Silver Bridge collapsed under the weight of of all of the cars. A lot of um, fat people there. I, I, it's got to be, right? <laughs> now, um, the failure was attributed to a small defect in an eye bar and a suspension chain. The defect was found to be less than one-tenth of one inch deep. But however, even though that defect was small, the death toll was pretty fucking large. 46 people died in this bridge collapse. Well, 44 technically, two were never found. I like to think they're out there somewhere. <laughs> Um, some of the uh, local people believe that this uh, disaster was actually predicted to certain residents of the town by a mythological cryptid known as the Mothman, uh, prompting uh, anyone who knows about this to utter the phrase, Fucking West Virginians. <laughs> but now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, almost heaven. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> fuck. I'm just glad that less than an inch can punish now. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is Would You Rather Show Up to Our Diversity Training clout course in blackface or buy four boxes of plan b and a 30 pack of beer and ask the cashier if she thinks it'll do the job <laughs> yeah oh I'll, I'll go first i don't have to do that in blackface do i <laughs> no no just jeremy face <laughs> yeah. fair enough all okay. right uh yeah I'm, I'm i'm buying the four box of plan b and a 30 pack of beer for sure the the reaction is what i would want to get Oh, you'll um, get reaction in oh, either yeah. one of these. I'm sure, but the other one might get you killed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the other one would be a good laugh. So I'm taking the, the four boxes of Plan B and a case of beer. You get beer out of it. I actually asked my boss if I could do that at diversity training when I found out I had to go. Yeah. Just as a joke. Sure. And uh, he said no. But <laughs> Damn it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Plan B, too, because... Uh, not to be confused with vitamin B12, but plan B2 uh, is what I'm going to go with because I don't want to end up on the internet forever. Yeah. And if I'm in, if I'm on the internet for that, people are at least going to laugh at the plan B thing. <laughs> they might <laughs> yeah. laugh at the situation of the other one, but I'm that <laughs> asshole in blackface and I'll never work in this town again. Yep, for sure. Jeremy? These both sound pretty good. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you on that. 
uh, you don't get many opportunities to dress in blackface. And uh, going to diversity training, you haven't been told yet that that's not good. <laughs> so <laughs> you, you can always claim ignorance, and there's a chance you might get discovered and maybe get signed on with the Cracker Blacks. <laughs> <laughs> However, I'm still I'm going to go with the plan B as well because uh, at least people think I got laid. Right. <laughs> so sex is fun. <laughs> yeah. Plus, it sounds like you had uh, sex with four people mm -hmm. at the same time. Sure. It's like you're going undercover in fucking <laughs> diversity training. <laughs> I want to see it from their perspective. <laughs> right. That's fucking terrible. Let me just Joanna man this shit and see what the what it's really like. Oh God, just and and do every awful stereotype. <laughs> Pull out a twenty with a bunch of ones inside of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. All right, guys. Well, that is all we have for this week's uh, <coughs> ribs. Yeah, I love ribs. No oh, shit. Fuck, ribs I, are awesome. I get so tired of this stereotype that barbecue and fried chicken is for black people. That's for everybody. Yes. <laughs> fuck you if you say I can't have that because of my skin color. Yeah, and the red Kool Aid one too. Fuck yeah, Kool Aid's, Kool -Aid's awesome. You guys can't just have that. No, you can't. God. Now, they do make it a little different than most people. It's cloudy. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> they put way more than a cup of sugar in it. Uh-huh. And that's, and that's fine. Okay. That's yes, okay. Yes. That's totally 100% uh -huh. acceptable. By, you know, they, I mean those people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> My best friends. Why do I have to go there? I don't know. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is all we have this week for our episode. Um, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you guys so very much for sharing our TikToks and commenting. That's uh, that's helping quite a lot. We really do appreciate it. We are keep on growing, so thank you guys so very much. Um, you guys have any shows, Derek, coming up? Nope. Nope. I got baseball. Baseball season. Yep. So uh, you will not be here next week, correct? Uh, no, I should be here next week. Oh, you, should, you will be here next yeah. week? Okay. Well, cool. Then Great. We'll have another one with, uh, with Derek on. Uh, but do expect we're going to probably have quite a few guests, some reoccurring guests, which is going to be kind of nice. I'm um, hoping that I uh, can sign on this Mac and Tyranny or whatever and yeah. uh, get him on with the super group that we're going to put together and hopefully play the opening of the new Ross Dress for Less. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, but as always, guys, do us a favor. If you <clears throat> like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you're eating out a pregnant woman and the baby teabags your tongue. Oh, God. Uh, wow. If you don't like us... Uh, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Taste the taste of wetness. Oh, Take the Nest Tea Plunge. <laughs> oh, shit. Until next time... Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>